Who said you can't go home? Real Estate Exposed, brought to you by Signature Real Estate. Real Estate Exposed is all about helping homeowners and those who would like to be homeowners and those who would like to get into real estate. Oh, God. Hi. <laughs> what a train wreck. Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Welcome. Real Estate Exposed here. I'm Mother Abala, one of the co-hosts uh, for our show. To my right is Mr. Brandon Roberts, owner of Signature Real Estate Group, um, also co-host. And to his right mm -hmm. is Shelly Panzarella, branch manager yeah, for Prosperity Lending. Casual. And she's super casual today, she I said. So <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. Um, if you, what I, no, I'm not supposed to say if you're watching us, right? Because if they're watching us, they're watching us and they know where they're watching us from. Right. Right. Where, where are so they if you want to watch us at a later time or a later date or something else, you can do that on YouTube, <laughs> on our Facebook page, as well as on anywhere podcasts can be found. Everywhere podcasts are sold. What I said. <laughs> what you said. Apple TV. Also that. No, Apple Podcasts. Sure. Apple Podcasts. Yes. Good Google. times. We are back, you guys. We were gone for a couple of weeks. Every time somebody was missing. And last week we had a, um, a great show. So <laughs> <laughs> we were not here last week. We did have a rerun. We had a couple of You guys were actually... not here while I was out? Whoa, whoa. What? Yeah. So we had to, we had to oh. do a, a redo. A redo? A redo. Which one was it? It was the... Hookers and hoe, blow and <gasps> poles. What was it? What was strippers it and poles or something? That one. That one. We lordy, did that one. Lordy, lordy, I know it had stripper poles in it. I just don't remember the rest of it, though, <laughs> what the name of it was. Because I think you labeled it with the stripper pole. Boats, no. hoes, and stripper poles. That's what it was. No, it was strip poles, and I was like, that sounds awkward. Make it stripper poles, and then that's how that happened. But I also, it's funny because I listen to another podcast, and they say that you shouldn't call them strippers. No, you shouldn't. Never Call mind. them poles or hoes. Boats or and hoes. <laughs> yeah. The right. hoes so is do, the bad part. We're going to do the stats right now. <laughs> Let's do it. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so stats today. I actually just about, let me actually do my stats because I put them out on a weekly basis. The seven-day stats. Um, hey, guys. So last week we had 2.2 weeks of inventory. Today it's 2.8. We have more inventory? Ooh. Things so, are slowing. Well, I don't know if it's slowing. <gasps> Dang, but I need I mean, to sell my house. Hold that on before it, could it goes mean, away. <laughs> who, who are you kidding? So here's the thing, right? I mean, if we track this on a weekly basis to see if, in fact, this goes up. Because we've had where it went up and then it went back down and then it went up and then it went back down, right? But if it consistently goes up a little bit, it means that we're going to have more inventory, which is good for the buyers that we're looking for. That also means prices aren't going to go up. Why are you laughing? Because that's, yeah, I guess that's what that stat means. Is that, did you not yeah, know? Yeah, when, when it goes up, inventory goes up. If you have more up, inventory, you have the more stat inventory. keeps going up. Yeah, that's You what have it more means. inventory. I just, I just laughed. I just yeah, thought it was funny. Yeah, it's true. It's not, <laughs> it's true. I mean, I just want to make sure everybody understands that when you have more inventory, you have more inventory, right? And if their Great stats point, say Bonita. there's more inventory, then there's more inventory. Then there's more inventory. Right. And that means that there's more houses, which means there's more inventory. You heard it here first. Yep. Hey, I think this show's going to be called There's More Inventory. <laughs> I think it should be. No? Yeah. People will be all over it. Yeah. So why do you think we have more inventory? <laughs> um, it could be because the stats say that. <laughs> people are selling their homes more? Because there's more homes on the market. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be that, or it could be that buyers are starting to pull out to wait. Or it could be that the sellers have decided to sell their homes. That's what he said. Yeah. Right. Or it could be that just uh, some appraisals came in low, they canceled, and we just happened to pull the stats today. Ooh. Oh, you know? dang. That could be a thing, too. Yeah, if you pulled them this morning, it might have been less. Who knows? But Yeah. Is it based on today or based on or yesterday? Yeah, she, it's based on another day. <laughs> it's based on the 14th. It's based on her uh, oh, Instagram snack. post. All right, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid Wrong of that. Wrong day? Start Let's start again. Okay. Oh, Pretend we didn't yesterday. say anything we just said. We're starting again. Hey, okay. everyone. Shelly Panzarella, and this is Real Estate Exposed. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to start off our show. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's start off with stats. Don't forget <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and yes, don't forget to, yeah. write all that stuff. You forgot it. Okay, yep. it's been a while. It's been a it's while, been a minute. Shelly. Yeah. Two weeks. Um, all right, you guys. So we have, as of right now, this very moment, this second, seven days ago, um, for the last seven days, so not seven days ago, but for the last seven days, 870 new listings. 800 and how many sales? 
Um, so sold in the last seven days, 1,089. That's more. I don't know from last week. That because we're we outpacing our listings. So yes, is the inventory sure. down or up from yesterday? So what? You I don't know. From I don't 14. do it daily. I do it well, weekly. I know the stat you gave we're us. Lost. The stat you gave us was for yesterday. 14th, no, it was from two days two ago. Days two ago. days ago. Today's the 16th. So let's see. Um, wow, well, see? See how much That's changed. why I don't do the stats. I don't is even know what, what that is. Is that what you want to do? I mean, well, I could tell you what it was. Hold on. I'll tell you what it was. So... Uh, well, we know what it was because you already gave that to us. What is 14th, it today? No, on the 14th, active listings, 1826. And 1832. it's what? It, it's 1832 today? Oh, so inventory is climbing. 1832. In two days? From two that's days the, ago. That's like, the marker? It's up four, four houses. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's two, what the stats say. Two a day on average. That's what the stats say. <laughs> that's what they told me. Um, <laughs> we just have if the pace continues. <laughs> if the pace continues, right? We'll have good. 10 more homes in the next five days. All right, so sold. <laughs> no, it was 1,000. I'm going to sell my house, so you'll have 11. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody With the believes turkey you, Shelly. Keep the that to yourself. I All right, know. least expensive or least... I'm not going to use you guys as cheapest realtors. House. Just, cheapest <laughs> house. Cheapest house. Cheapest house. Cheapest house. 32,000. 149. 50,000. 50, 50,000? Two-story, first floor, yeah. Two, it looks two like a story condo? Uh, condom, yep, yeah, condominium. It is off of Craig and 15 Freeway. Oh. Mm, I know where that is. Craig That's and expensive. 15. For 15. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're such a dork. Mm. Um, so that home, uh, and let's just go through the history of that home, because I think that's kind of telling, right? So that home was originally, nope, I don't want that step or that one. Or apparently. Just so make it up. Notice of trustee sale, $64,000 in 2007. Oh. Um, and then, yep. What do you mean? Sold for less than? That's what they owed on it, right? Yeah, that's what they owed on it. But yeah. that's not what it necessarily sold for. So that was what the notice of trustee deal was. Yeah, trustee. That means it was foreclosed. Sale, right. And then that's there good. was another lien from the HOA for 3300 That was a foreclosure history. So sales history for public records. It was bought in 2010 for 18000 Oh, my goodness. It was sold in 2014 for 25000 Wow. And now today it is, um, it was sold for 50000 So they double their double. money. That's not bad. That's not a bad a place long time to start. Though. Don't you think, to double your money? <laughs> I'm like, what does she mean, a great Mexican restaurant right there? I thought she was talking about us, but she's talking about where that condo is. Oh, <laughs> what? which That's one really? is it? That's why it went so high. You think so? No. It's right next to the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> which so really which Mexican restaurant? They have great food. I don't know. Ask Kim. Probably Casa Don Juan. Casa oh. I don't know, Kim. Tell us. You tell us. So anyway, so that was the highest priced. That was the lowest. lowest priced. Sorry. All right. Let's do highest price. Shelly, no. 2.3. 3. <laughs> 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 you Three changed point up two. on us. Uh, nope, six point eight. Brandon, it was like six point big, eight? big, like ma- yeah, six point eight. Where was it? You ask. Oh, oh, your, please. Where was it? Yeah, I. I wasn't. I looking did ask. Here. It was. It was in uh, Red Hawk Subdivision, the Red, Ridges. Red Hawk. Oh. Guard gated. It was my neighbor. That's your neighbor. Are no. you moving down the street? No, no, not into. I would not live. I would ridges. live in the ridges, though. I like the ridges. I'll live with you if you go buy a house like that. <laughs> I'll never live in the ridges. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. All right. <laughs> so, she doesn't even let me come house. and swim in her swimming pool. So. Look at this house. Oh, wow. That was just me. That thing's amazing. V- I, v- I would live with me there. I Yeah. I you would know, totally it's really hard to participate there. when somebody can't see it all the way on the other side Get of the... Get better eyesight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful None home. of our viewers. Oh, it is pretty. It is a, it's I a can't beautiful see. home. Viva's... A Zapatas. Nice. Viva Zapatas. Oh, even. Is that where we're going for uh, dinner? No. Nope. Yeah. Leader's lunch. <laughs> Leader's lunch? Ooh. Maybe. Maybe that's where we want to go. All right. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Did you guys see the article um, where our president from the association was actually quoted? <laughs> quoted. Which one? The, you know, I guess there's a couple of them. Did you see the. the never mind. I won't, I won't talk about it. We don't want to embarrass him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There was. There's an that article. Southern Nevada home prices keep springing forward and tight Aww, supply. That's so but sweet. that's not what the stats say. <laughs> All right, but let's be real here. It's up but we are homes. Aren't two, we springing forward? Two point eight weeks of inventory is still not enough. 
No, it's Good still, point. It's Good still point. a seller's market. <laughs> so even if it's going up and it's crawling up a little bit, like it's still a seller market. Seller's market. So a normal market, a good market would be at six months worth of inventory. How many weeks no. is that? Have we ever no, no, been no. in a normal a market six, like that? Six, six months would be more of a buyer's. I think a healthy no. market, yeah. A healthy market would be Three about- Three to four months? Yeah, maybe four, yeah, five. But but the fact of the matter is you're never really there that often. It is just passing through to the other side. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Ding. Just stop and buy. <laughs> Don't Heading on over to the seller side. <laughs> Coming now back I'm over going to over the to the buyer's side. market. <laughs> yeah, That's I know. Funny. I think it, it it will happen, but when, we don't know. When right? was the last time it happened? Was it 18? No, it was 17? sooner than that. 10, 12, 12? 12? Really? 2010 to 2012. And, and since then, it's been a seller's market? I don't know. No. So the, the when stats. did it turn in the seller's market? Yeah. Oh, goodness it turned into a seller's market a year and a half ago two years ago maybe 2014 no yes no i have it from a good source who's the source tom i can't tell oh my gosh tom's not here yeah let's just say his tom's in my head he's here (laughs) (laughs) i've got i've got i understand sign language and i got it i've got my sources oh yeah is that what uh is that what he said (laughs) <laughs> got it those are not the right fingers to use chris yeah you keep that away oh by the way did you hear that um we Rose ate real, we ate the weekender yeah ate the weekender <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny did you just yummy burp? oh <laughs> you just burped <laughs> all right what i tried is happening right Gen- now we're, well we're talking about something so listen gen z renters are ditching the city in favor of vibrant suburbs what does that mean to you guys that's like old that school means that everyone was going into the downtown areas, and then with the pandemic, everyone's moving back out to the suburbs. Yeah. Where's the suburbs here in Vegas? Summerlin. That's what I figured. Suburbs. Green, Green Valley. Valley. No way. Yeah. yeah. Fremont Street. What about area? Lake Las Vegas, Vegas, Vegas or like Cadence? No, that's also. Closer. Yeah, that's not the suburbs. You don't think that's the suburbs? No, what that's, another that's vacation destination? That's another city. Mm, it's Viva not that Las far. Vegas, Lake Las Vegas? Lake Las Vegas is far. Yeah, Lake Las Vegas is far, but what about Cadence? Cadence Why is on the way Why do you think that that's so far? That's like right down the street from my house. Because you <laughs> right. live far away. <laughs> I'm in the suburbs. <laughs> yeah, say um, 43% <laughs> say they want to... Oh, I can't read the rest of the article because I didn't uh, pay for it. But <laughs> So it, it makes sense to live in the city when you're out doing things. When you you're can't do things it. anymore, everything gets shut down, where do you spend most of your time? At home. In your house, right? So you'd want bigger houses, bigger right. places to be. So and more bang for your buck is found in the suburbs. Really? N- no, we're here. No. The prices are going up. We're on okay. fire. Ah, the bang for your buck's on 95 and Craig. Craig. <laughs> I think that was Craig and 15. 50,000? That's what I meant. Was that what it was? Sky 15, yeah. Canyon. 15, Sky 000. Canyon is a suburbs. Sky Canyon could be considered They're a suburbs. They're expensive not Sandy Valley. out sure there. Sandy Valley, though. And it's far. Holy cow. Sky Canyon is far. Um, yeah. So that's interesting because I love being in this, <laughs> like in the middle of the city. Like being able to like go to restaurants and are you in the middle of the city? I think I am. You I think are I'm not in the, in the middle of, of the city. city. I don't think I'm on the in the outskirts. You're not in the outskirts. You're definitely but in you're a different planet if you think that way. <laughs> Where's the middle? Is the boulevard truly the middle of the city? The boulevard uh, mall, Las Vegas Boulevard. Oh, <laughs> Spring Valley and Va- or Spring Mountain and Valley View. Shelly's That's gonna the catch middle. up in a little bit. I know what show Spring are we Spring Valley on again? and what? And Valley View is the middle. Spring Mountain in Valley View. Did that you get that from your... I think it's no, the I just, I'm guessing. I'm just like thinking of if I was over... Of the, ma- <laughs> of the map in, the in there. Pretty sure there's got to be a stat on that. Where's the middle of Las Vegas? I'm going to say 250 or this Las Vegas Strip. I don't know where it is here, but I could tell you where it is in Utah or in Salt Lake. Why would that... They be? actually... Ha- they're a grid system, and so they start at zero zero and point zero zero. I know exactly where that oh is. Oh, my God. I stood in France in the zero zero at Paris in Paris. There was, Where a, was that? There's a, in the it's right it's right next to the at the cathedral. Remember the one that just burnt down like a couple years ago. What is it yeah. called? Notre Dame. Yeah, it's Notre Dame. Notre Dame. That's what I said. It's almost Rural. it's like right <laughs> right down well, the street what's, from them. What's that was interesting zero, zero. in Salt Lake? It's right on the southwest corner of the, the Mormon Temple downtown. Interesting. Why? So it's they funny. built it in the. It's on right the at zero, zero zero. Yeah, the corner of the thing is, and then everything, all the addresses sprawl out from there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of mm-hmm. cool. St. George is like that too, says our um, audience member. From another temple? 
from another temple? There you go. Yeah. So is that why they build the temples there? Because it's... There's temples all over now, but there used to only be like one in Salt Lake. Now they're everywhere. I don't think I quite understood like Utah in general and the temples and like Baylor and how it... Like I don't know a lot about that stuff. What do you know about Baylor. it? Baylor. I don't know. Are, they're not there. That? Just kidding. <laughs> you mean bring it, Brigham, Brigham Young? Brigham, Brigham so Young. Brigham. Is that what it is? <laughs> well, it's not Baylor. Same. Baylor is in. Yeah, where is that? That's in Massachusetts. Is Pretty it not? close where to Utah, it? but it's, it's like on the other side of the country. The temple is a place of worship, up, basically, but you have to have a temple recommend to get into the temple. That's about all I know. I don't have one. A, tem- you don't have a temple? temple? Like you I've never know the been peeps. in. You can walk the grounds, it's but in you have to Texas. Qual- you have to qualify. Baylor there. University is in Texas. Yeah, don't act like you knew what I was talking about because you. I they, asked. They you. just they just won the national championship. Did they really in basketball? Interesting. Yeah, yeah I had no idea. Even yeah, it's crazy. The only game I watched. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is that Baylor? how you know that name, Baylor? Huh? They won, right? Yes. <laughs> He's like, Beta's a football player. We had we knows. actually had a basketball watch party here at the office. It was me, really? Beta, Tyson, and Bill Oliver. Bill it was, was nice for you guys rooting to for these anybody. guys who they were oh, playing because Gonzaga. Oh, from Texas. Yeah. They, were, they were playing Gonzaga. I got gotcha. you. And uh, I thought Gonzaga was going to win because they had Same. what's the guy's name? Timmy or whatever. Yeah, Timmy. Timmy. Timmy's this, supposed to be this amazing basketball player, and he just had not a very good game. That's not good. So, anyway, Baylor won. Interesting. Interesting. You heard it here. Not first, but you heard it. <laughs> we did right. hear it. Now it's a sports show. That's a sports section. Even though basketball Brandon will not bring re- in the sports section. Basketball is not really a sport, but... Basketball is a sport. No, it's Just not. like skateboarding is a sport. It is now. Skateboarding is more of a sport than basketball. No, it's not. Yeah. Stop what? it right now. No. What is They actually with you? have uh, Olympic teams. Basketball's like soccer. They lay around, they flop, and they fall down and hope for a penalty. <laughs> what? It's, it's I've never seen anybody <laughs> lay down on because you don't watch basketball. <laughs> basketball. <laughs> they stand there. They stand there like this. The I've only seen up. Michael Jordan fly. I'm sorry. Yeah, because he flew over him, and that was. <laughs> but see, they stand there like this, and they touch him, and they just fall down, and they go charge. Oh. Or blocking. And that's yeah. And soccer, and so they just kick him in the knees, and that's. They almost kick him, and they fall down and roll around like they're crying. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> what is happening right you've now? You watch soccer, right? No. I'm just offending a lot Football. of people, I'm sure, because people really get into soccer, and Beta, Here? Beta really likes uh, basketball. Oh, <laughs> and football. I'm a hockey fan now. I am that. a hockey fan as well. And the Knights are doing great. Are they? Yeah, they won again. Today? No, they're, they're playing. They, they haven't played, played today. today. They didn't win they, last. Yes, they did. They did beat they? the Kings the last two times. I thought that they lost on Wednesday. Nope. Sorry. You should have watched the whole game. I probably yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. I think oh, I fell I'm asleep. missing my headphones. Can you guys hear me? Nope. What? <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's get back to the yes. show. Let's get something else that's exposed. Yeah. Not no more basketball talk Mm-mm. or um, football or hockey. These were March's hottest housing markets. Largest price increase in, in the U.S. were in Austin, Texas, Fresno, Fresno, California. That would have been my guess. You read Austin it. for sure. It's right it. here. The suburbs of Austin, though. Why are you lying? Oh come on! You do not need your glasses. For it that. was the suburbs of Austin. In modern history, the housing market has never been a month. There's never been a month like March of this year. Record demand and the lowest levels of inventory on record pushed sales prices to record highs in March and made life very complicated for buyers, real estate agents, builders, and lenders across the United States. National median home sale price hit a record of high of three hundred fifty-three thousand in March, which was up seventeen percent from last year. Wow. From last year. Exposed. Yeah. yeah. But last um, year, I mean, during this time, we were all shut down. Everybody thought the world was ending. But it didn't end. But I it know. didn't end, yeah. Right? I yeah. mean, realtors I were giving, here's, realtors were like turning in their licenses and thinking that they weren't going to be able to sell homes. No. 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 That's the total opposite wow. of what happened. You don't remember contracts actually canceling? Remember us had that fear I, of that? Con- I only know of one person that turned in their license. That's it. <laughs> what? You do? Yeah. In oh. the whole valley. In the whole valley. She picked it up into the office by herself and she took it down herself. But <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only one I know of. No, a lot of people stopped working. Yes. But nobody turned in their license. Okay, fine. So what's happening is I what also adds to the low inventory. <laughs> What also adds to low inventory is that that there's a high cost of building materials. Yeah, it's like nine bucks a two by four or something. What it was it? What is that? It used to be like a dollar twenty five or something. No, shut up. I'm sure at one point it was. Do you know how much (laughs) milk used to be? (laughs) (laughs) You used to be able to get gas for like a quarter a gallon. Yeah. 
Brandon, you Not really had a good lunch today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you just had a real great lunch today. You had a great birthday this week. I did week, have right? a good birthday. This week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why That's, you got to change the subject? She had a... a hun- Some, seven lumber went up 100 and what? Why don't you come join us? We 180 percent increase. Yeah. So, so instead of Bitcoin, like we should have been putting some money into like lumber. two by fours. Is there such a thing? What's two by? What yeah, is the? I'm investing in particle board. Well, here's the thing: you can't you can't really <laughs> cut down trees anymore, right? Because yes, there's you can. no, not a. T- you have to have sp- like they have to be grown for that purpose. You can't go okay. into a forest and just All start right. chopping so down trees. That's not okay. Make we have a friend, Craig, Mud Mountain. Who's we? Well, not really me. But I mean, he's I, I consider him a friend. He may not consider me a friend, but he's one of <laughs> Sasquatch's friends. And uh, his name's Craig LeBeau. Any and he friend of Lebeau Sasquatch's trucking, are friends. Okay. And he has a reality show up in Canada where they do, they. it's called Mud Mountain, and they haul the trees off the mountain. That's they where they come go from, in too, is Canada, yeah. yeah. yeah but and you can't just, just go take trees from... They're like, doing it all the time. It's why can't on you just print them? So doesn't somebody own the trees, like the... The country, the city, the region, the there's, something. Yeah. There's money in that. So you just you could just go chop down trees from wherever you want. Yeah, go try it. No. Some, some okay. okay. That's what I'm asking. Like, like you have to have permits for that crap. You have sure, to, but you have you to could, buy but, them. Right, and that's why. Which is why there's the ter- the tax. That's why it costs so much. Oh. If Here's could, how the uh, if you economy could just works. Go and get a two by four out of the forest. It wouldn't cost you that much. You That's build right. your own house. If you could just get oil out of the ground, we, well, we were electric, but it wouldn't cost money for gas. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, revelations Mother happening Earth on owns all the land. <laughs> and just so you know, uh, nights one six to two. They did. I saw that. I did fall asleep early. Thank you. Thanks, but thank Kim. you, thank you, Kim. And I'm sorry. So She's there was a time where you used to be awake. All night to watch the end of the game, and now you can't last past. She just had a birthday. Period. She just had a birthday. It was Wednesday. I know, yeah, but she like didn't totally well, and and actually they started to lose, so that was my only thing. They never so did. They, they took didn't? the lead right at the beginning. What was I doing on Wednesday? Jeez. Not watching the game. That's Apparently. for damn sure. But I did on wear Monday, my new. Uh, on Monday they came. From I mean, Monday. I feel like oh, you wearing that I shirt and the shoes. Oh my and gosh! All I feel like you're a poser. <laughs> You call me a poser? <laughs> I mean, you have no idea. Yeah, one can I, game. Can I, I just one say game. I've missed you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back what at else? it. All right, let me go back to this article. Okay. Have we named one a shit show yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have. This oh, God, that was, that was in the very beginning. <laughs> this is part two. So the largest gains in sales were in New York, 58%. San Jose, California, 56%. San Francisco, 55%. The metro areas where home sales fell the most were Rochester, New York, negative 9%. Rochester. Grand Rapids, Michigan, negative 9%. And Daytona, Ohio, negative 7%. Was that 7%. down transactions or prices? Prices, sales. Prices. Oh. Sales prices. Well, that's an interesting question. <laughs> that's what I was going to, yeah. It's, okay, so I'll start from the beginning. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. We'll do the stats. <laughs> Median sales prices increased year over year nearly across the board in local housing markets. The only price, only places prices didn't increase were Honolulu, which is kind of interesting, they um, nowhere where they houses. fell 4.7%. Yeah. San Francisco, where they were down 1.6%. The largest price increases were in Austin, Texas at 28%, Fresno at 23%, and North. So it was in prices. Mm-hmm. Ding! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was in prices. Could everybody hear that? It's crazy everybody. because the highest yeah, delinquency rates that I'm reading here is New York, Hawaii, and Nevada. Yeah, let's talk about that. Really? Delinquencies. That's crazy or- how they have the highest, what did you just call it? Sales price? Yeah. Median sales price. Median sales prices. They have the highest delinquencies. So when you mortgages. say delinquencies and mortgage, right? So forbearances, mm-hmm. people not paying, any of that, like any of that? Behind in payments. Yep. Behind in payments, Behind period, payment. the end. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter if they are on a forbearance or on a plan or anything like that. If they're that. on a forbearance, that means that they're not making their payments. So they are in. Del- they are delinquent. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> forbearance isn't forgiveness. I know. But I'm. I, what I'm wondering is if those stats include those people. Because like when someone yeah. asks me how many people haven't paid rent, right, we can look at, for instance, our stats and say about 10% of, of our inventory, like of all the properties we manage, have late payments or are on a payment plan or something, right? So when they ask for delinquencies, we include the ones even on payment plan because they are, in fact, not Delinquent. caught up. Yeah. Do you know how many of our rentals are 90 days past due? How many? 
I don't know. I'm asking you. No. <laughs> Do not. So I'm, I'm filling out our new E and O <laughs> stuff, and that's one of the <laughs> it's one of the questions. I was hoping you had the answer. No, that's <laughs> not me. You've got to ask our accounting department. Oh for my that gosh, that's she's, she's on vacation. I know. I know she is because I. That's asked why I was asking you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do not know that number. I wish I did, but there is somebody who knows that answer. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah, somebody will figure it out somewhere. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. So we're, we talked about, have you guys looked at sort of our current homeless population? Have you ever been down into the tunnels, the homeless population? Have you guys ever been? She's in- just jumping all around. No, but I did, because I, this has a little you bit to there? do with eviction moratorium that's oh, coming up, because okay. we're going to talk about that. Show. I have never I... been down there in person. I've seen it on TV. So when I was a little kid, I used to skateboard in one of those little places, and they... Why are you shaking your head? No. I won't wear hair. I won't I won't wear makeup, and I won't do my hair that morning, so... Are you freak? Fine. You're You'll serious right, right now? <laughs> scary as... <laughs> what do you, what's the what are you doing down there? What to do you check it out because I want to see what it's like. Like I feel like you you know I've you get one shot and all of a sudden you're just like super brave. Two shots. You're you're I'm fully? double dosed. Wow. Yeah, I'm double dosed. I wouldn't worry about COVID down there. I'd worry about something else. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, the, so there's a guy who actually. Rat so poison. I won't even get into it. Actually, Go ahead. no. So what I'm going to do is when I do that, I'll talk about it on this show right after. So I'm going in two weeks. Well, let's talk about it before in case you don't make exactly. It back. Thank you. <laughs> Because you're so secretive about where you are. So just make sure that you post it somewhere that we can see where you are. I think, I think Tom's been in the tunnels. It's not pretty in the tunnels. Tom, it's not pretty in your office. So With the forgiveness. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it is, yeah. It's got a lot of nice things on the walls. Does he really? Yeah. <laughs> um, home builder confidence rises in April despite uh, record high lumber prices. Here we go on the stinking that's lumber again. That's all they got. But apparently they're super excited. There's a couple of builders that have... have Hate that hate realtors, but it's okay. That always we'll happens, all right. It, it happened in two thousand three, four, five. But here's six. the thing: I, I don't know why people get upset. So I'm not upset. The, the co- <laughs> I just won't sell any of their homes. The co-op is a marketing feed to entice people to show the property. Yeah. Right, and if they don't need you to show the property, they don't need to entice you. Yeah. Hmm. Right, and so nobody complains when the market slows and they need you and they raise the co-op i complain you complain i complain about you give it time. back to them yeah <laughs> no <laughs> like why didn't you do this then why are you starting it now no, I, I i get it i get it but i don't get it no i i get it and i don't get it because of the fact that i it's think like I jumbo mean, shrimp it is <laughs> yeah it's the same same the thing same, is is that same. they they increase our our co-op to us but really it shouldn't matter because you're doing buyer consultations and you, <laughs> if if that's just part of buying a house, right? With your buyers. Yeah, but they don't care Surgical. what you do with your buyers. They're, yeah. They're marketing a property. They're spending money to market a property. Yeah. You know what bothers me the most about them? What? Home, no. New home builders, can I tell you? That lumber's so expensive? <laughs> that lumber's so goddamn expensive. No, but what really what really bothers me is when, um, when they say having- that, you know, they have advertisements that say home, you know, as low as 325, for instance, and you get there and they're like, oh, but there's also going to be this fee and there's going to be this fee and you have to pay da da da. So there's no way you can actually get into a property for 325. It's 350 or 375. And that's mm-hmm. truly the lowest you can get it for. Well, there's billboards all around town that from agents that say, I'll do it for this. And they charge more too. So, and they used to do it in mortgages Marketing. too. Mm-hmm. And now you have an APR, right? That's right. Well, so we, yeah. And right. you're supposed to post the APR on there. That way you can, yeah, it's a yeah. more of a accurate. Aren't we Regulation having a builder's Z. rep come on to our show sometime soon? Yeah. I'm going to ask him some We're very gonna hard, him. hard questions. We're going to lynch him. I know. I'm a little afraid of that. Yeah. He's going to uh, be an expose. <laughs> <It's gonna, laughs> he, he hasn't watched gonna our show We're going to turn the yet. lights down, put the spotlight on him. We'll, yeah, we'll make sure to delete be ready this for on that. Turn the heat be up. Be ready for him? Be ready for him. Okay. Like questions and oh. prepare. Can I ask him how much the lumber is? Yeah. yeah. Did you have uh, a thought you want yeah, to ask him? There's a guy that wants saw to, that. There's a guy that wants to come on our podcast. You read Profit First, right? What? The book Profit First? Yes. Yeah. All right. You like Mike, it? Yeah. Okay. So Michael Malowitz? Yeah. Malkowitz. Malkowitz wrote it. This guy um, is a friend of Sid, Cindy up in Alaska. Well. He wrote Profit First for Realtors. Really? And he worked with Michael on the book. Wow. And so it's about to get released, but he wants to come on our show. Was That's that pretty cool? Lunch with? No, he doesn't live here. <laughs> he doesn't live here. I, I didn't go to lunch. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's liar, awesome. Liar. So we should bring him on uh, the show. <laughs> 
every if I leave the office, people, where'd you go? What'd you do? Who yeah. were you at? You're not allowed to have a life. I don't have a life. <laughs> None of us have lives. I just went why. around and drove around the block. <laughs> just, just that's that's not what your assistant said. Just so people wonder what you were doing. I just wanted her to think I was important so she doesn't quit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't ask your assistant. We That's have MapQuest on you. <laughs> Shelly, are you still seeing um, buyers purchase second homes? Is that still a thing? You know, it, was it last has year. come down, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen... Actually, we are seeing more uh, owner-occupied in the last few in the last few weeks, I would say. So not second. The pre-approvals. Investments, too. Really? Mm-hmm. So very few investments. Everybody's sneaking up on in here. What is happening? Yes. So no second homes, no. I have a couple that are looking at that have been looking for a second home and investment, but nothing really new in that arena. I don't know if it's because of the increased fee that they have for rates, but yeah, I haven't. I for honestly investors haven't or just increased rate period for second home specific to second homes and investment properties. Remember the lot, two shows ago, I told you guys that they were increasing. I wasn't here. <laughs> you weren't here. I wasn't here either. <laughs> Apparently. So, can you tell us about that? Catch yes. Us up. <laughs> so, fa- uh, maybe it was in the sales meeting. So, Fannie Mae is Im- er, has already imposed the seven percent inc- limiting the amount of uh, loans that can be delivered directly to them. Um, they're limiting all of the investors to seven percent. So, people who had had investors who had had second homes and investment um, loans inside of their po- portfolio were going to be automatically charged this, or basically seven percent fee. No, they are actually. It's just like, I hey, you've f- got you can only. You can only sell to us 7% of all of the loans that you send to us. 7% can only be second home and investment. So if you can't sell them to the investors then, or to Fannie, then you have, either have to carry them, which not everybody is able to service their own loans, or you can't Don't do, do them. them. Mm-hmm. Owner will carry. So, <laughs> we, so, yes. so you, within your company, can only put out 7% of the loans to be... Uh, second home or investment properties. That is what they imposed for, and it's specific to just Fannie Mae. Would there's actually a call to action to try to, to you know, retract it. that? Yeah, um, but you can still use there's there's Freddie Mac who you can actually sell into as well. But Fannie Mae imposed this, and everybody's thinking that Freddie Mac would also follow suit. But I don't know that that is the number one reason why second homes and yeah, because Fannie Mae doesn't control a good majority of the market. When it comes well, to those, the does stats it, do for conventional financing was like fifty-two percent here in Vegas. Shut your mouth. Yeah, so that's Fannie Mae is conventional, but whether it's conventional or Freddie, I mean, uh, Fannie or Freddie. Yeah. All right. Well, that's interesting. Have you guys seen a lot of second homes Mm-mm. investments? No, but I have a different theory. What do you think the theory is? Uh, lack of inventory and higher prices <laughs> <laughs> would cause people not to want to buy a second home. Yeah. <coughs> and and, all the, interest and all rates the, going up. Yeah, and all the yeah. good, and all the good cabins w- are sold already. Is that where you were at for lunch? In Vegas? In Mount Charleston? (laughs) Looking at cabins? No, all the good cabins are sold. Are they? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wow. You have a license out there. You should be able to find something somewhere. Yeah. So. um, You have a license out there, too. I don't have a license. Out there? In where? (laughs) Out where? Somewhere out there. Nevada? Oh, in Nevada. They they have cabins Mount Charleston They do? So you're looking for a cabin here or Utah? I'm not looking for a cabin right now. We're, we're going to go a pretty quick drive. Just got, the rest of us need a vacation I got Shelly spot. working on another project. <laughs> yes. An will carry? Yes. An owner will carry. <laughs> just. <laughs> yep. I, she, I want her to give me a personal loan, and then she can carry the note. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, that's I got to sell true, my house first. Is that how that goes? <laughs> You're never selling your house. I am. I promise you one day. So Don't there was give an, up on me. There's an article in Realtor Magazine that says some buy second home before primary residence. Hmm. Well, okay, I wanna, I'm going to jump wanna, into that. After. Yeah, I, I'm a little confused. How do you buy a second home if you don't have a first home? Well, it's because it's not your primary residence. Oh, so, so it's if an I'm investment renting in, property. No, if I'm so. renting here in Las Vegas and then I decide I want to buy a home in... Brian Head or Duck Creek. I want a cabin. Yeah, that could oh. be. That'd be second. It wouldn't be my second home, literally a second home, but it would be a secondary residence. So occupancy. second home buyers may be drawn to country cottages, mountain cabins. While they continue to rent apartments in the city, they may search for their second home in less competitive markets there you go. than their current one too. So if you are looking to do that, let me tell you what markets have not gone up again. So it that was, may be so why we, we have it, by the way, homes. you guys, the second home. So if you're going to look for a second home, you want to look in 
Rochester, New York. Because nobody wants to live there. Minus 9% in sales prices. And degrees. Grand Rapids, <laughs> Michigan. Again, 9%. Freezing. Daytona, Ohio. Could be cold too. A negative 7%. You I feel like I've heard of Daytona before. Do you think before. that's the affiliation is that it's too cold for people to live? Well, it's starting so to warm up. Snowbirds so. come to that. Although it, we don't have the cabins and the other stuff here in Vegas. For the biggest year-over-year year declines in active housing supply in March were in Salt Lake City, Utah, negative 66%. De- Holy shish kebabs. Wait, say that again. De- I wasn't paying attention. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Everybody ready? Everybody. <laughs> yes. Ready? <laughs> the biggest year-over-year year declines in active housing supply in yeah. March were in the Salt Lake City, Utah, negative oh. 66%. Uh, Louisiana. How <laughs> do you say that? There was, Baton a, there Rouge? was a point. Baton Rouge? We, Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Sorry. We were on a call with uh, one of our agents up there that's uh-huh. on the Bishop Roberts Floral. team. And there was a point where there was 700 homes on the market. 700 homes. 700 homes. How many homes do you normally have on the market? Like, what's a normal it's, market it's, for you guys? It's similar to this. Oh. So similar you would normally this. have like 3,000, 4,000 homes. So they, didn't even have they sell about the same number of homes that we do a month. Yeah. They'd have a the week of inventory, crazy. basically, yeah. if that, right? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So, And the average sales price has gone up. Okay, so I want to do something because we talk about the new home listings that come on. That was 870, but we never talk about the actual like full inventory in our marketplace. So if you consider our complete inventory in our marketplace, we are right. at 2857 homes. Or yeah. Homes, manufactured homes, single family, townhomes, all of that. So if I only pull out the single okay. family, it's 2108. Okay, but so then the two and a half weeks of inventory was not correct. So, two, okay, it's 20, really hold on, 2857 matches a thousand, right? total. 1,000 sales? We, we sell. So 2857, someone write that down somewhere. Somebody write that down. 2857. 2857. Okay. That's, that's how much inventory we have today. And we have sold in the last seven days one thousand eighty nine. Right, but so that but is two plus weeks of no, inventory. No, because you're looking. Just no, a you're looking over. I see what you're saying. Whatever. Yeah. One thousand eighty nine plus one thousand eighty nine is two thousand. A yeah. lot, and then. <laughs> So I see what you're saying. Just, right? So we do have uh, two point. That's how you figure out how much yes. weeks of inventory. You guys are. taught me that two eight five seven minus or one. divided by one zero. Because we sell all, we sell almost four thousand homes a month. Two point six two. Two point six two. That's how much inventory definitely, we definitely. actually 2.62. have. Oh, that's right. Definitely, it's, definitely. it's increasing. It's increasing <laughs> yeah. by four homes. We already told. We already discussed we already this earlier in the show. Four homes or point four. No, it weeks was, of it was four it was because four we're talking about earlier, yeah. and it's okay. point something more now. Yeah, so that's that. So if you are looking for places to buy a second home, the ones that have gone down in price the most, like I said, New York, Michigan, Ohio, for second homes. Yeah, and can Vegas you guys have your team meeting there. somewhere else, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's very disturbing. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay, and then there was a report about Google searches. Right? Our Google searches reflect customers' market angst. Um, America, what are you saying? Pay attention. Americans are increasingly turning to Google to find answers to their housing questions. The phrase, when is the housing market going to crash, has surged in Google searches Google by 2,450% in the last month. Man. Holy crap. My whole, Let me be a statistic my right whole now. Faith when in humanity is just the went market out the window. Consumers going. are also searching for information about why the market's so hot, doubling in the last week, and how much more, how much over asking price should I offer on a home in 2021, which increased by 350 percent in Google searches that week. All right, so let's be the source of this information. Fake news. <laughs> Stop it, Tom. All right. I mean, so let's be the source for a second. Okay. So let's let's talk about really quick. How much over asking price should I offer on the home in 2021? As much as you can. (laughs) Really? Google says. Google says no. Vandana says, honestly, okay, if you have a home that's on the market and you're looking in that 350 range and you have looked at thousands of homes or at least hundreds, because we we don't have thousands, but you've looked at a maybe 10, 15, 20 homes or whatever, and you wrote offers on at least five or 10 of them, at some point you're going to be like, all right, I'm, I'm willing to pay this extra because of it. Well, uh, and my answer to that would have been that uh, it depends, Wait till on, the market how, crashes. No, depends <laughs> on how bad you want the house. Yeah. 
Because I find that so many buyers are settling just to get something. Yes. You know, and and so I don't know. It's no. You I know what'd be great for those buyers who are settling is a renovation loan. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. We talked about that last week, though. Is that a refi thing? No. Yeah. Well, it could be. It's it's yeah. a big purchase. it's a big loan though because lumber is expensive. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Yeah, but yeah. you don't have to do lumber to read to renovate your home. Ah, yeah. see that Tyson said an agent in Salt Lake lost out on a house even going a hundred thousand over. But that's I mean it depends on the price point, right? So uh, it was a California, Cal- yeah. So California has similar situations where I mean I've been telling you guys for months now. My brother's been looking, one point two million, and the homes are going for one point four, one point five. Appraisal contingency removed because they have to offer more here because they're all moving out of California. <laughs> they need that extra <laughs> they money, need that extra two hundred thousand to cover the difference. Yeah, it's crazy. That is crazy. It's been like that for a year though. No. Yes. Here why or you know there? In California? Why don't you ask Google? Well, so asked. when I when I she put in asked. Google search here, it says when is the market going to crash? It's the stock market that they're asking about. Yeah, but. You got to put in when is the housing market going the to crash? The question is when is the housing market going to crash? Got it. So while consumers are showing concern that the housing market may be overreaching as home prices rise and bidding wars become common, the National Association of Realtors has said conditions are different now that in than in the previous hot market. This is not a bubble, and that's from the chief economist right. for NAR, Lawrence Yoon. Um, mm, he recently man. said uh-huh. it is simply a lack of supply. The nation has right. 1.03 million homes available for sale, a record low, and far from a peak of more than 4 million during the height of the last housing bubble in July 2007, according to NAR data. Total active listings were down 54% last week compared uh, with a year ago, uh, according to Realtor.com data. So that's, nice. some, that's some good stuff. So, it, I mean, it is in a housing bubble. We talked about this, I think, last year, too, because the last housing bubble that we had was specifically cost, came because of Oversupply. those guys. Um, those guys? Those guys, yeah. Those guys. Because of you. Me? Yeah. yeah. That wasn't just because no of me. No crash through 2025. Tom is convinced that we are on a five-year low inventory mm. like no, Low no, inventory? He's not, he's not on that. He's saying that the prices aren't going to come down and crash. Oh, for five since years. 2025? Yeah. Now, I don't think it's going to climb for five years, but I would agree with Tom that I don't think it's going to bottom out. I don't think it's going to crash at all. I don't agree. think it's going to crash even in 2025. I think what's going to happen, and I don't, again, this is my own opinion. and The opinions you know, you on this show. Do what you want with it. Huh? Actually, the, opinions the opinions of this, of this show. show are, yeah. Yeah. Um, I do not think that there's going to be a crash. I think that we will see maybe a little dip in in um, pricing, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a dip where we're going to have a a crash per se. There are people who are buying homes, they're taking or selling their home, they're taking the money that they have and they're hanging on to it and they're going to come back in the market over time. Right? When, there, when there's a house to buy. When there's a house to buy. Yeah. Right? Well, so there there will be a somewhat of a, a correction, but I mean last time we had a we had a massive crash because of lending. Well, I think Ideal. any any downturn in the economy won't be driven by real estate like the last one. Correct. Was. So we, we, will, by we will feel by it in financing. our market, but it won't be. What do you think it will be? Um, Stocks, Bitcoin. I don't want to get into. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I, don't, I don't want to get into <laughs> just politics. Bitcoin. It'll be Bitcoin. It'll be all of it. No, there's been. Um, I've actually. I have somebody that I um, am friends with on Facebook, nonstop Bitcoin, like um, posting about how it's going to go up to. He got a haircut too, didn't he? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how it's going to go up to like 250,000 by end of next year, a, a coin. I'm like, that's a lot. Yeah. Cause it was at 30. I think when I oh bought it, it was gosh. at like 33,000. And where's it at today? I don't know. I didn't check. I don't check. I try not to check. 63. Wow. Because I get, I get really Is excited. 63. Your money's doubled. My money and, has and you're, doubled. And you're thinking it's not going any higher. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> has my money doubled? Holy shish kebabs. Sell. No, <laughs> I am keeping it. I am keeping it. That's amazing. I made some good money. <laughs> Thanks, Tyson. You haven't made any money until you spend it. Until I you know. sell it. Until I sell it, right? That's right. Yeah, but still, it's kind of nice to know that it's there. If my kids ever decide to go to college. Just leave it there. If. Yeah, I have no, I, I have no idea what they're going to do. <laughs> they may decide they don't want to. Have you? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Have you guys watched? I don't know if we have this conversation on here, but have you guys watched the show about the um, uh, college? Uh, Mortgages versus marriage. No, 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 no oh. not that one. Oh, my God. College scandal? The college scandal. No. But you know what I'm talking Athlete about? Athlete A? 
Yeah, it was a big deal. Oh, my God. So I watched the actual, so there's a documentary about On it. On Netflix? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I watched it a couple of weeks ago, and it was, I mean, it was just eye-opening. Have but it was really, I think what was interesting to me the most about it was that um, there there was a couple of people that said, we put so much pressure on kids to go to the right school, to get the right grades. To, what if they don't want to do all that crap? What if they want to be art artists? Not that artists can't get good grades and go to good <laughs> schools, but you know what I mean? You, <laughs> can, just, you can run a successful life, make a shit ton of money yeah. without going to college look at me i went to college but look at well, me look at me look at you well i'm not a good example well, but i didn't go to college <laughs> somebody else. look at somebody else just not us but it's totally possible right you, you could hang out with girls like this yeah and not go to college exactly <laughs> smart ones yeah, yeah. Ah, that's funny smart and so it was actually a fascinating uh documentary and i enjoyed it and so it's i've, called, I've decided what? how they took advantage of it all well, it, it, to I get think their so. kids into the school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's okay. I know what you're talking about now. Now you know what I'm talking about. Yes. So it was a really cool documentary, and I've I, what I learned from it, what I took away from it, is that I'm not going to pressure my kids uh, whether they want to go to whatever college they want to go to. It's a lot cheaper. I'm not going to do it. Go. Are you going to pressure them to go to college? I'm not. Whatever, whatever, wherever their path takes them, I will support as long as they have a big enough house. You for heard me it to have first. A mansion here side on real estate and exposed. A private jet. They can do whatever the hell they no want. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor kids. I know. They're going to be fine. One of them oh, has th- to turn out okay. They'll be fine. They'll both, they will. They'll both do great. Yeah. I think so, too. Anyways. Or they so could just st- hang out with you all the time. They could just hang out with me That wouldn't be so Poor bad. kids. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you got to move out of the house, don't you think? Do you? Eventually, they do or I do? Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm like, it's my house. <laughs> no, you must Do go. You? <laughs> you must go. Yeah, I think they will eventually go out. I think that they it's will. important for them to go find their path. But it does freak me out that nowadays kids are getting into worse things than what we did when we were younger. At a younger age. And I also worry about the shit that I did when I was younger and if that's even a possibility for my <coughs> kids. And then I'm Well, I don't have to worry about anything because I've been an angel all my life. <laughs> Yeah, so your daughter is going to. <laughs> she's going to be. Yeah, she's going to be a raging. No, don't say that. <laughs> you be nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then. She's right. just like me. Um, <laughs> she's just like you. <laughs> um, Wall Scared Street Journal. So, one of my clients. Oh, I forgot it. I brought an article that one of my clients. Was it about the $25,000 um, credit? For what? Tax credit that everybody's talking about. The Biden administration is trying to approve this twenty-five thousand dollar home buying credit. Come to on, to help stimulate the market. Help Who's Biden. <laughs> Un- Uncle Joe. <laughs> Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. <laughs> yes, he's trying to pass that. Well, originally it was fifteen thousand, and now it's twenty-five thousand to first-time home buyers. But what's crazy is it's only for your first-generation home buyers. So, so, is that crazy? So, like. No, like I my didn't parents, buy a home. My parents bought a house, so I wouldn't qualify. Correct. So what he's and what? you get a kicker bonus if you're in a um, a kicker bonus. Yeah, you get an extra. Hold on, let me tell you what that is. An extra five thousand dollars if uh, you're in Brandon a group that's subjected to racial or eth- ethnic I'm prejudice. I'm Sorry, say that again because I was. Those recognize as socially disadvantaged because they are in a group that has been. Uh, classifies or subjected subjected to racial or ethnic prejudice could receive an additional kicker bonus of five thousand dollars. That's everyone. Says who? Says so me. Mm-hmm. Thirty. So Everybody is thirty to so thirty thousand. So it's twenty thousand baseline bonus? with the oh, kicker bonus it. up to five. So twenty five. I 000. just wonder how they're going to do that. Are they? Just I know. Say well, what was the racial incident? Do you have to fill out a report? Exactly. How much money do we actually have to give away? I'm co- I'm a little concerned with the amount of money that's been going out for. I don't, don't worry. Put about more it. money into Bitcoin. The money's not worth anything. If Bitcoin's worth. Something. <laughs> <laughs> After this they show, they start can giving away Bitcoin. We're in trouble. Yeah, right. Well, we you could didn't buy our governor say Bitcoin? something about accepting Bitcoin or having oh, a, a, a system are. like Bitcoin now in our in our state? A lot of places are. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see well, how there's that an ATM and stuff that you can actually pull the Bitcoin out now. <sighs> I wonder because I know we talked about we we talked about it with <laughs> we talked about it with Val when she was on here. What I got right here? Like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> is anybody paying attention to me? Sorry, Kim, are you listening? A little sliver of coin <laughs> comes out. <laughs> hey, that's my Bitcoin. <laughs> it's Where'd a bit it go? Of coin. It was. It's yeah. all I could okay. afford. Y'all are crazy. That's it. I'm done. I'm oh no, you're not. Anymore. You got another 10 minutes. All right, so Wall Street Journal put out an article. U.S. housing market is 3.8 million single-family homes short of what is needed to meet the country's demand, according to a new analysis. I feel like this is all sad stuff. 
I think it's awesome. Why? Prices are going up. <laughs> so is the stats. It means commissions are going up, which uh, means sellers are making more money. It just sucks, oh, so don't for, just sucks yet. for the buyers. It really does. And what about those buyers agents? The buyers have a great opportunity. They can get thirty thousand dollars. Twenty five thousand dollars with though. the Biden plan. If not yet. As long well, as it's their might. first time buying yeah, a house. It'll probably happen. First and, generation. And, they're, and first they've time. been getting killer interest rates. Yeah, they have been. All works out. What are interest rates right now? Uh, so interest rates today actually are down. So uh, two weeks ago on 4-2, April 2nd, we're at 3.375 and we're down to 3.125. So quarter, quarter percent down. There That's you go. Good. So what about those people who locked in their rates at 3.3? Do they get the 3.1 one, now? You can re- renegotiate if you haven't already closed, but uh, D- yeah. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> so when you renegotiate, is there an extra fee that you have to pay for something like that? Or is that just like... There, it's an eight, there's a, a little cost. It's a, but I think it would be worth it overall if it is a quarter. Percent. Yeah, because you're doing it over the co- mm-hmm. over the course of thir- thirty over years. Time. Mm-hmm. But I also heard that there might be increases from thirty year loans to forty year loans. See again, making yeah, it better for I buyers. Seen that one yet. Yeah, I, that'd somebody, be crazy. Somebody was telling me recently that that, that would actually. I mean, they did that back in the day. I All remember. it would do is lower the prices, right? Right. Most yeah. people don't stay in their home for forty years or even yeah. thirty years. But yeah. do you have a program that's a forty year program? We do not. Okay. What not about yet. a fifty-year program? Fifty? No, we do not. What about a sixty? We could sell you two. What about a sixty? We sell you exactly. 30. Come that back to me, me in thirty 60? years. <laughs> Serious? No. No forty. No fifty. No sixty. Just 30. so you could do. I mean, you could Maybe technically do it as if you had, at ten years you refinance. You could for another thirty. You could. <laughs> that yeah. would be forty. That is correct. <laughs> Let me just do the math on that. Oh yeah. You are correct. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Three point two. Three yes. point two. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool if we had 40-year loans. You have 20-year loans, though, for sure. We do, yeah. Yeah. 20, 28, Thanks 26, for answering that. 21. <laughs> wherever you want your uh, term, we can set it. Except for 40. Except for 40. Anything over 30, we cannot do I wonder, today. I wonder when that would a happen. 40? I wonder, like, that would be a good thing, I it'll think. Happen when, it'll happen when interest rates are higher. Yeah, and to make it more affordable. prices are ha- higher, and you can't get people into a house. But it's never happened before. We had that we did. issue. We, we did. had forty-year loans. We used forty-year loans back in the day. No. Yeah. Yes. What exactly? Back in the day? Right before the housing crisis. See, cars used to. You could only get five years. That's now right. You get more and more. Now you can go thirty years on a car payment. <laughs> no, you can't. It's one dollar and fifty-five cents. Sometimes your car's more than your house. <laughs> well, if you Sometimes. live on fifteen and Craig. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But how how long of a car loan can you get? What's the highest? I only Longest. said that because we there was a condo that sold there like fifty four. I wasn't picking on the area. I got a I got a dagger look. Dagger. Oh. I think it was more of me. Dollar and fifty cents. That's not true. Can't no. have a payment that low. <laughs> how? <laughs> like, where do I get a car like that? Does anybody know? No, but does anybody know? Like, what's the highest you can high, the longest time frame for a car loan? I'm gonna get seven years. Eight. Oh. Maybe eight years. Yeah, I've seen an eight year. When I was looking for Sydney's car, I was like, an eight year loan? Like, come on. Serious. Serious. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. That makes it affordable for. Does it, though? I mean, the car is like, you'll never get over the. Uh, the uh, I mean, I guess if you trade it in or whatever, you'll never appreciate over that. It's kind of like the, the cell look. phone. They want you to always have a payment. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I keep my phones for like 15 years. Like your houses. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And your husband's. And <laughs> true, true. <laughs> you're so, you're so same, stable. Same. So I stable. am stable. <laughs> yeah. Only if, you know, some of us others learned from that. But right. whatever. So you could. <laughs> <laughs> 72 month max is what Tom says. I don't know if that's accurate, Tom. I think he's talking about car loans, not home loans. Can you imagine if you had a 72 month home loan? You they do that. do that. You know, no, Australia is. No, f- you stop it right now. Australia. Seriously? It's five years. Australia? Yes. You that's can have their a house in lending. five years? No, no, no. That is their term. It's a five-year mortgage. So then you have a balloon? Yeah. You have a balloon or you just have a five-year mortgage, a five-year term with that gigantic payment. But they probably get paid a lot more down there. You think so? In Australia? I mean, I'm sure minimum wage is at $6.45. Or, or, minimum or wage. their houses are a lot cheaper. Or, minimum, let's just see that. Minimum wage in Australia. They, sp- they spend all their the down money under. on their knife. $19.84 per hour is minimum wage in Australia as of July 2020. Mm. Holy shish kebab. Throw another shrimp on the bobby. Throw- <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. But I wonder what their home prices are. So good. What would you get over there? Google it. Uh, sorry. 
<laughs> She's chicken. Emails. emails. <laughs> I'm doing commission world? checks right now. Okay, so. We got things going on. Seriously, Austra- what was the question again? Homes Australia. I got it. You just you. When is you the Australia doing. housing market going to crash? When is the Aust- Wait, why? So most Australia searched term housing ever housing market? Oh, it does actually say that on the cars. No when? Oh, it crashed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened here? Uh, did you find it? I did not. Will house prices drop? Hey, maybe we should check that. You know that one. Website that we love so much. So it starts with a C. Google. In Illo. They're not. In, Google. They're not in Australia. Are they? You don't. Yeah, Zynga. Let's check Zynga. Zynga. Uh, Zynga. What's oh, Zynga? Straight. Is that going to be the name? Median of your house price is one point three million dollars. That's the median. That's what it says. In Australia. Australia and you can only get a five-year loan. Most expensive city. Sorry, Sydney. Oh. Aww. It's poised to grow 19% in a move that would push the median house prices to $1.3 million. Is the minimum, is the smallest? Or in l- Sydney, Australia. Though. That's like their main. Median? That's crazy. So I put in Australia and it took me to Mississippi, but that's not accurate. <laughs> Nothing on that site's accurate. I know. Ah. Ah, good, one. good one. Maybe that should be the name of Bazinga. our show. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Maybe that should be it. Um, yeah, that's all I got, you guys. What'd you bring That's to the it. table? Well, I had a lot. He showed up. I, yeah, I have a lot, but uh, you took all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start? We got five minutes, Brandon. Actually, four. Get How it going. It, Welcome Can't to wait. Real Estate Exposed. <laughs> 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 well, it's my part. Yeah, right? <laughs> Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for listening. <laughs> Anything exciting on the uh, LVR front? Why are you asking me? He's oh. the one that's going to be I know. president. Why are you looking at me? Do anything cool? There's some big things happening. What? I can't tell you. <laughs> what? Just, just it's hold, exposed. Hold on. It's going to be big. What is, well, like how big? Huge. Are they planning your installation? Huge. November. Is are you going to do it? Are you going live? Like a legitimate they installation? Voted, they voted me in. No, but a legitimate <laughs> installation, dork. I think so, right? Of course. Yeah. I think the governor said uh, June, June July. 1st. By June. Mm-hmm. June 1st, right? Do you think that's going to happen? Yes. <laughs> that was, that you was, asked. I didn't answer. even finish my question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I don't know about that. Really? You're going to go into the underground, so I mean. I know. I'm going to be fine. By June 1st, I'll be double fine. Double dose, so I'll be all right. Yeah. But double Why? dose? You There's have a Moderna lot of people and have taken it. Just kidding. A lot of people have taken it. A lot of people have had it. Why don't you think we'll be open in June? I don't know. Cases are down. Deaths are down. Are they? Yeah. That's awesome. I don't watch the news, so that could be my problem, too. Well, you won't see the cases on the news anymore. Why? Because they don't it's not really bad. Get scared. It's Got not it. as bad as it was. So it's, it's just, it's not the, the lead, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nobody cares about it anymore. This 25000 no, uh, tax yeah. credit is big news. How just cool is it going to be to see what textbooks are going to say about this time in history? Can't wait. They won't. We're burning all the books. No. <laughs> we're Fahrenheit all digital. Four, what, have you guys read that book, Fahrenheit 420, 451? Is no. that the name of it? It's about like, it's about no, actually burning books and then they have a whole. The Tea Party? Yeah. The Boston Tea Party? No, 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 no. 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 It, there's a book. We'll look it up. Fahrenheit We're, we're rewriting entire history books. We are. What is it going right to say? Now. Well, I, they're just changing everything. <laughs> They're tearing down statues. They're rewriting everything. Oh, my History. gosh. Yeah. Fahrenheit 451. Right? It's a book that has that talks about books getting burned in the future. Firemen burn. Yes. Yeah. Where yeah. books are outlawed and firemen burn any that are found. Isn't that crazy? That's what they do. They Firemen don't rescue. They burn books. <laughs> do you think we'll ever get to that? Why do you hate reading? I love <sighs> reading. I've just recently started reading. Well, you should have started a long time ago before we burned all the books. <laughs> <laughs> now we're digital. Now we read she everything just online. No, I actually if it read. Doesn't, if you can't Google it, it doesn't exist. I legit read. Why are you What are you reading then? Um, so right now, Never Split the Difference and Ninja Selling. You've been reading that for a long time. No, because I started, I started Ninja Selling in the middle of it. And so because I started another book in the middle, I never... I put that one on pause but that's so you're not it. really reading it i am reading it no you you're halfway through the movie you pause it you're going to come back to it i'm coming back to it yeah but yeah. i come back to it every week so every week i read only a principle in ninja selling and then i go back to when i finish with the principle then i go back so to what was the last principle uh the the last principle that we had was number two what? so you, <laughs> so you just started 
What was so what, principle one was all one about was, mindset. Yes. Right. Yep. Uh, number two was being. Um, I want to say it was uh, being a, a pro. No, not being. It was, a ninja. It was actually yeah. being a ninja, but being proactive and being pursue. Over, pursue. Yeah. yeah. You yep. might need to go back and reach. No, uh, I did a whole thing. <laughs> Stop yeah, it was good. About me. Your team. It was a good. Uh, sh- it w- not a show. What is it? Team meeting. Team meeting. Oh, that's it's a group book club. It's a it group is a book club. Yeah. Are you reading the uh, other book the that we have? Communicate people. Everyone communicates, but few connect. When did I start that book? The uh, day I gave it to you. Which one was that? Two f- two Fridays ago. Oh yeah, no. So that's after never split well, the. Difference. Well, you have to report to the managers meeting. On yeah. the 29th with your... Chapter one. Mm-hmm. Said who? That's the whole reason we got the book. <laughs> Thanks. You. <laughs> you weren't part of the meeting? No, I, I don't understand you what happened. You. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. The communication <laughs> committee. So apparently... <laughs> clearly did not okay, communicate. Okay, so never split the difference is actually going to have to be on a total pause. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. But that's a great For book. For 90 days. I, I like that kind of that's, stuff. That's an awesome book. Yeah. Never split the difference? Yep. Yep. I'd Thank like you. to see that profit first by for realtors. That's a we're going to have him on. Okay, I just got to set the time. We should probably read with that him. book. So it's not, it's not out, out yet. yet. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe he'll give us one of the advanced copies. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, right? Yeah. Well, In theory, if you watch every week from now until we have him on, we might give you one. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we'll not really. I'll I'll hit him up on Facebook or okay. or Instagram, IG. I'll hook you up. Okay, follow there you go. You in. All right. And on that note, that's a wrap. <laughs> what she said. That's, <laughs> that's her part. Bye.